look at this. This is nice color contrast. Actually a little bit of blue in it too, which is nice. So me telling you about my channels actually resulted more in a <laughs> kind of like a weather vlog, really. Right on the beach, no swim swim. See if we can find some water. What was I thinking? Was I thinking? A walk? A walk. Oh. oh. Wish I was still lying on the sofa just chilling out. Chilling out. It's a little breezy down here. Oops. Alright, as of right now, it's uh, pretty much okay to come down here on the beach. Uh, technically, it's private. It's one of those uh, rules they have where people might have it all grandfathered in and they're on the land, but it's kind of like private. This is the only public area here, which is part of the town of Fort Erie. But it's only uh, about 20 meters across and that's it uh, but most of the residents that live along here are always really nice always very friendly as you walk by except for one uh, but I won't point that particular one out no but I heard there's one particular one down here that gives everyone a hard time but apart from that you're fine like I said uh, I won't point that person out or whatever so anyway um, let's go for a little walk and I'll tell you what's going to be happening uh, on the channel. Oh, by the way, this is uh, Ridgeway, for those people who are not from this area, uh, part of Fort Erie. Uh, this is Lake Erie, and as you can see, all the ice is just piled up. They're starting to thaw out pretty quickly, and the ice is very thin out on the water. Uh, big chunks of ice. Maybe we'll try and get a bit closer to that in a minute. Uh, dogs are digging over there. Uh, but we've got some nice water starting to open up here, so the dogs can go and run around in that in a minute. Let's go. Right, get my feet wet. Alright. Let's go, you two. Ha! <laughs> He's in. <laughs> First dip of the year. Oh, is that cold, Mumford? How do you feel about that one? Milo, you're an icebreaker. You gonna go swim, swim, Milo? Milo, go swim. Go, you're an icebreaker. Go swim. Good girl. Good girl. Get in. Oh, you're in now. There you go. Give yourself a wash down. Check out the big... Uh, Slabs of ice, they've all now broken up. It's kind of neat. Look at that, it's cool. Let's go. Let's go. So nice along here. Sorry, this little thing you can see at the top of the screen, it's my microphone muff <laughs> on my GoPro. It keeps blowing and falling down a little bit, so it keeps getting in the way. Uh, yeah, but this, uh, believe it or not, two months from now, there'll be people on the beach here, and uh, people swimming. It's amazing how quickly Lake Erie warms up, it really is. All right, so on my YouTube channel, uh, a few weeks back, I asked a question. Uh, should I leave the channel as it is, or should I make a separate channel uh, for the weather vlogs I do? Well, overwhelmingly, uh, the response was, leave it as it is. So with that, I am. So I'll keep separate playlists. So we'll have our um, Niagara playlist, which is where I go exploring the Niagara region and doing various things. And then we'll do the weather vlogs, which is another separate playlist. And occasionally, which I don't really like doing anymore, is the COVID videos, because they're too controversial. Um, but I don't mind going to Niagara Falls doing stuff. But the more political stuff I try and keep away from now because it just causes too much problems. So I'd rather just keep going on with the exploring. Um, so that's why I'm with the channel. But if you've noticed on the playlist, there is also a new playlist. <laughs> and it's a new feature I'm bringing to the channel this spring and summer. And I'm really excited about this because it's something I've wanted to do for quite a long time. It's took me a while um, to get around to doing this. 
Um, before I tell you exactly what it is, if you don't already know, uh, I'm going to play a little clip my wife recorded of me <laughs> trying something on, and uh, then I'll let you know what it is. <laughs> I'm laughing at Mumford's expression. Clue is what I was wearing. I was trying to put on a wetsuit. Uh, so it has something to do with water and it also has something to do with this, this lake and surrounding waters of this area too. I've gone and bought myself a sea doo, a jet ski. Uh, I bought it last year and it's being delivered sometime this month. So I hopefully will be on the water in the next few weeks. Over the winter, I've been uh, buying gear. Uh, winter, spring and summer gear so I can be out on the water as much as I can because technically the water season is pretty short here in Ontario uh, due to the climate uh, but if I buy the right gear I can extend it and probably get about eight months of the year out of it and that's my intention so what am I going to do with my jet ski? well I want to explore this great lake for one and all the surrounding waterways in the Niagara region we have lots of creeks uh, the Niagara River itself uh, Chippewa River, Chippewa Creek I should say. So I want to get out there and get exploring in the spring and summer and maybe later on in the year I want to get out further and check out some of the other lakes as time goes on uh, just to the north of us like Lake Ontario and then up to the Kawathas and so on. There's so much to do out on the water I really want to get involved in that and be out there. I mean it's not for everyone I'll still be doing my exploring Niagara videos uh, when the weather isn't compromising with me to be out on the lake. Uh, so but yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that and hopefully you'll follow me on the journey um, and I'll get into a little secret as well I have never ever ridden a sea -Doo. <laughs> Yep, you heard me correct um, I've never ridden a sea -Doo. So I bought this <laughs> with no knowledge what it's like to be on one Well, I should tell a lie I have been on a jet ski I rode a jet ski once in my life, 25 years ago nearly, in 1997 in Puerto Vallada, and I, I, I rented one of those wave runners, the, the, the horrible ones, so I, I rented one of them. But these jet skis today look fantastic. And uh, I was thinking about this about 18 months ago, then last year I decided definitely don't want a boat, I want a jet ski, and by the end of the summer I made my mind up. I couldn't buy one last summer because the supply and demand was so bad, uh, there wasn't many around, and I wanted to buy a used one. And to be quite honest, the used ones end up being more expensive than a brand new one. So I decided to buy a brand new one, but I've had to wait for it. Say that we was on the way back, Mello. So if you're new to the channel, this is the first time checking out. Check out some of my other videos. You might enjoy them. And if you like, please make sure you subscribe for more videos. Uh, majority of my content is Niagara based, the Niagara region, like here in Ridgeway where I reside in the Fort Erie area, Fort Erie region I should say, and yeah, this is my backyard basically, <laughs> along with other people that live down here, uh, beautiful Lake Erie, and we're now coming into my favourite time of the year, spring, uh, I hate winter, I hate, um, I like early fall, but I love spring, especially late spring when it warms up. So, hey, look at this. The glimmering sun on the opening water. This is, this is end of winter. This looks beautiful. Look at that. I love this. It's going to support my weight still. Everything's breaking off. I love the uh, little chunks of the ice there that are broken off. 
looks spectacular. I love where I live, love where I live. Look at the contrast in colors though. You got this dark, dirty, sandy ice. And where the wind last night, we had, we had really strong winds, it's pushed up the ice here. The sheets have all broken up. Clear, bright white, it's beautiful. Nice contrast, especially with the blue sky. Really, really nice. Check this out. I'm not too much worried about Merlot going in the water. Uh, Merlot's a Chesapeake and she has a chest that's actually designed uh, to crush ice. And when she was younger, we came down here many times in the, uh, in the early spring and she'll just run out there and crush the ice with her chest. And that's what they're designed to do. They have a big wide chest and she likes being out on the water. Don't you like Merlot? Hey? Now look at these ice slabs. Look at this. This is... Nice colour contrast. Actually a little bit of blue in it too, which is nice. Really, really nice. I'm not going to walk on it because it is dangerous. But that's pretty over there. I can't get any closer. So a little mountain there. But over here we can go. thickness of this look at this look at that. look at that they're like bricks like hundreds and hundreds of brick sized chunks of ice just crushed up and just pushed ashore. Uh, especially that mountain of it there. It, it does, it looks like a pile of bricks, but, but ice. Spectacular. So me telling you about my channels actually resulted more in a, <laughs> kind of like a weather vlog really. Uh, ice. <laughs> and the uh, end of uh, the season. Yeah, it's been a long winter for us all. And you know what? I miss my mum and dad. I do. They're not dead. They're just... I can't go and see them. They're 4,000 miles away and uh, I can't fly anywhere still. So it's been 18 months now since I saw them last time. I used to go home uh, to the UK at least twice a year uh, to see them and watch a football game. And... Uh, oh! Mumford's right in the water. Now he's stuck. I must go and rescue him. I just saw him. <laughs> Mumford, you just spoke my little chat on the... There he is, he's back up. He made it. Good lad. <laughs> yeah, so it's been a while. I know my mum watches these videos. She says when she misses me, she watches my videos. So, hey mum. Uh, my dad's in Manchester, so dad, hi. Mum's in Cornwall. Beautiful part of the world, by the way, Cornwall. If I can't be in Cornwall, this is probably the second best place to be. Mother. This stupid wind muff. Alright, so there we have it. Uh, I told you about the channel, what's coming up, and uh, what I've been up to. And uh, look at that, the dog's got the first swim of the year in the lake. So, uh, jobs are good done. Alright, I'm heading home, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. This is that muff that kept slipping down. Works good on a bigger camera. I have to kind of adjust that to make it work better on the GoPro. It falls down too easily. All right, we got a long walk home. Should have brought the truck, but that's too lazy, so. Homeward bound.